welcome to Secretary's Nailer. Today I'll be showing you the Born Pretty Store BPL 21. The reason for me getting this particular is not being late is because it's great for couples and romantic nail arts as well as some more storytelling. So if you're wanting to create a story on your nails, this is really the place that I consider a must have. On the top here in the corner, you can find a Victorian lady with an umbrella. You have an Alice in Wonderland look here. And in the corner, there are these really great silhouette couples. I absolutely adore this. I did have some problems stamping it, which I will show you later. And I will also, I also did a manicure using this plate, so you can see how it ended up and how I made it work. I love this couple holding hands and dancing. We have two kids sitting under a tree. Maybe they're reading books and fairy tales to each other. Who knows? Uh, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous, like teenager woman in her dress. So it's so picturesque. And this lovely bridal couple here. I'm thinking the next time I have a friend of mine who's having a wedding. I'll be wearing this on my nails. I think it's cute that they added in this unicorn. Because um, finding that one true love is really like finding a unicorn. Kind of it. <laughs> uh, this is some more sort of team building as far as I can see. Um, it really reminds me of those posters that they put up for team building events in the office. Don't you guys think so? <laughs> Here we have like a Winnie the Pooh kind of image and a girl walking her dog as well as this really adorable little couple kissing and he's hiding flowers behind his back here and there's like this nervous bend in their knee and just guess that it's their first date. <laughs> I just love it. Storytelling. It really is. A random Ariel the Mermaid image in between here and you have this really cute little couple Kid, just imagine like your first child, and you'll do a manicure around that. It'll be really sweet. There are three ballerinas on this plate, and here you have a girl again walking the dog with an umbrella. This girl is on a swing, you have one who's jumping ropes, and in the corner here there is a girl with butterflies, and this couple here is absolutely lovely. Postures that seems to be dance and tango, could be the first dance and clubbing. There's just so many stories to tell with this play. As you can see, we can just literally build any story with this. Um, it would be great for like Valentine's wedding, first child, or milestones. That's what I'm thinking. So let's go over to the stamping test. I'll be using Bourgeois 24 because I love trying to pronounce French things. <laughs> the lineup is Conad Stamper, a Moya London creative stamper from a Rainbow Connection and Bundle Monster. So let's see how they do. We'll start with the firm Conad Stamper that we have and do the little girl with Butterfly up in the corner here. Now let's see how that goes. We have touched down and it looks like she's done quite well. Let's check out the paper here and you can see that there are a couple of the markings for the butterflies that are missing here. Um, on the stamp here I can see three rows on the plate. There are four other dots that would be butterflies as well. Let's do the tango dancing couple here with my Moya London stopper. And they're dancing their way into the finale. <laughs> it's beautiful. Let's do the Rainbow Connection Stamper uh, with this Alice in Wonderland with her little bunny. And there's a tiny, tiny watch there that they're standing on the grass. And it looks quite nice on the stamper head here. Uh, as you can see, 
there are some gloves that didn't transfer. I am guessing there's some glue left over from when I removed the glue film because I forgot to wipe it with acetone before trying to stop this. The last supper out is the Bundle of the Monster one and I'm doing the silhouette couple as you can see here. There's some tiny errors even after I cleaned the plate with the acetone there was still some trial and error with these two designs. I tried all my other stampers with these and I found that when I was using the bubble monster scrapers were a little bit more firm than the one for example that I have from Rainbow Connection. I was doing an upward swipe and that really gave me the best results. But you really have to load on the polish, upward stripe, swipe <laughs> and it will eliminate most of these errors you can possibly do here. Just so that said, it might be tricky these two images, but they are Google, they're really gorgeous, and to prove that, I did my nails as one of them, as you can see here. So thank you all really much for watching, and I'll see you next time.